Alright guys, uh, today I want to show you how to you can crop your, you can crop a picture in PZ Lab without losing the quality. You understand? So we're going to use the mask too in order to crop our picture without losing the quality. You understand? So um, no automatic uh, cropping. So all we have to do is change the background. So now we have to bring in our picture so I'll go to add and then I'll go to from gallery and I'm just going to import picture so I love to use this this guy let's use this bring it in full so all we have to do is to go to picture menu and then we scroll and then we click on mask okay so we're going to mask this picture so just all you, we have to do is drag this one to the top drag this one here drag this one to this place and then drag this one here and then we click on enable then we click out okay so this one we click out so we are on our way to this so all we have to do is to click on zoom and then pinch into this picture very well now we're going to start from this angle okay from this very angle this is where we're going to start where my mouse is so all we have to do is disable the um, the, the zoom and then from here everything we click when we click add is going to add another node but in the middle from this angle and not backward this is our front so we keep going front so all we have to do is to clean the zoom and then zoom out a little okay zoom out a little so that we can see the center so let's say i'm going to have a node here all i have to do is to do a simple calculation that i'm going to have a node here a node here node here node here 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 to this place so how many nodes let's count together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven then twelve so all i have to do i can decide to add at once i can decide to be doing it um to be adding as i'm going so but it's my choice so i'm going to go down and then in where we're seeing actions this is the second button here is used for adding nodes okay so you can simply click and it will add and you can see a node has been added here all right and let's disable that i can click this and then add another add another one add another and then add another so right now i'm going to um position them closely because these are the places i want to add nodes okay so this is my choice i'm gonna add here and then drag it in i'm going to add drag it in i'm going to add drag it in i'm going to add drag it there here here and then add one more that will be here so now that i've successfully added this it's time to zoom in and work 
so I can simply zoom in oh this is the max okay now I can simply click here you can be using this You can be using this to do whatever work you want to do but me I have a mouse so I don't need um, too much of this so I'm going to go uh, whenever you want to move make sure you click the zoom button because if you don't this is what will happen anywhere if you like go and hold it here and click it will still be working on that so which is absolutely absolutely uh, wrong so make sure you always you always clinking that button whenever you want to move so you can see this is the work I did down here where I scattered it so I'm going to uh, let me use my mouse because this is absolute this is much faster compared to how this works this is the problem with this so I'll try to take it out and then take it back so from here I can uh, work much easier so I can move click and then continue You can see we're moving. We are moving. You can take it out to see where you're supposed to position it. take this out as well and watch take this out and watch okay so I think this is it so you're as accurate as possible because if you miss your name is sorry okay uh, it's, it's not as smooth as system so we just have to to be gradual on this and to make it as smooth as possible can you see that I Good. So gradually we are going. We're moving to the permanent site, you know. So take it back. I'll take it to this place. And then I'll move it gradually.
so the cap here can just click on this on, on this one and then click on add again so we can add it at this very place okay so we can move this one out and then reposition it again you get it so we click on this one and then we click on add this is ice you need to be careful on this one. Oh, oh, oh. The mouse. Okay. Now it wanted to ruin my work. But hopefully I got I get better. So I'm going to add again, take it out before taking it in. So we can hold it back just like that. So we click on add again, take it out. And then take it back in and then do like this look at the line very well and then take it back okay this one went smooth there was no need so um, Click here, click on add, it went far. So let's click on it again. Let's click on this one again. Click add, move back, and click on it again. Click on it again, click add. Good. So gradually we're moving, um, but you can see now it's taking time because this is not auto remover. Okay, this is real time. Uh, so this one. Oh shit. So gradually we are almost done with this. So we click on um okay, let's use this one. Since it's closer to us, we can use it. 
take it out. Good. Make sure you're watching well. That's the thing. Make sure your eyes are not deceiving you and everything. So we zoom out a little so that we can see all nodes. Okay. I want to see all the nodes. So yeah, I've seen it. Look at it here. So I can now take it closer. And the alignment is done there. So all we have to do is to zoom up again, zoom up, and then um, click on that. From this one, we can just take the node and put it in the middle here. And then click on this one, take the node, and put it in the middle. So it aligns properly. And all we have to do is to click OK. So you can see my friend here is completely removed out of that. And let's zoom out very well. And remove the zoom. And then increase this. I want to show you something. So you can see this picture quality is absolutely furnishing as in completely. Oh, no. I just want it like this vertical so vertical um it's properly okay it means this is the hole so now all i have to do is to change my background so all i'm going to do is to go to background and then gradient and then i'm going to add something like this so just that i want to make it Okay, so good. So let's see. Um, let's add the the brighter area. Let's add the brightness. Don't. this place this one you shouldn't don't bother with mouse you can let me darken this one a bit i think that's where i can be able to get what i want very well darken it so you can see our friend here is sitting in a very clean environment and he is not touched at all and the picture quality is very very clean so this is how to remove your background from pz lab without losing picture quality you can also add play around with this background to see by adding some stripes to see how it works so where is the transparency level of this good um, you can just add a little bit good so and then click ok so from here you can decide to add a text is your choice which I don't want to add so I'm done with this and you can just click on save and then save as image so from there you can just choose go to default and choose ultra to save the maximum um, um uh, whatever um, quality of the picture so thank you guys for having me around i really appreciate you guys so um enjoy and crop your pictures without any problem and um enjoy yourself so guys that is how to do that thank you guys